hello guys welcome back uh, today i am going to show you how to do the calibration test on gas alert max xt2 model so today i have two pieces of these uh, multi gas detectors uh, so i will show you how to do the calibration it is very easy and uh, do you remember guys last time i show you how to do the calibration test on the uh, gas alert microchip xl model uh, this gas alert Max XT model is little bit different from the previous model because it has an inbuilt air motor. So this air pump is uh, used to suck the sample air. So this is the sample air inlet. We use this uh, sample hose and this uh, sample hose end I am going to connect to this regulator. Normally we are using 0.5 liter per minute regulator. So first what we have to do is we will connect this end to the regulator and uh, we will fix this regulator the, to the span gas. So normally this is the span gas cylinder. Same like before, this span gas cylinder is contained hydrogen sulfide 25 ppm, carbon monoxide 100 ppm and methane here you can see 2.2% methane used for the measure the LEL and oxygen is 18 percent and this all balance in the nitrogen so first we will going to fix this regulator to this span gas cylinder and make sure that you have a positive sufficient pressure inside this span gas cylinder for the calibration okay so we have here positive pressure it's enough for the calibration here you can see okay now what we have to do is i will switch on this uh, multi gas detector as I mentioned before, in build it has an air motor. So first, itself it will ask to block the uh, inlet for the pump. So once we block the pump, they verify the pump is working. And after that, normal procedure is it will do the self test by itself. So normally, the once we done this calibration, it will valid for 180 days. So every six months we have to do the calibration but the thing is it depends on the your company policy so as per my company policy every month I have to do the calibration test so last time one month before I have done the calibration test so here you can see the calibration due date is 150 okay what we have to do is we are keep pressing the switch off uh, button and then automatically it will come to the calibration mode so once you see this message apply gas you may connect the sample hose and open the span gas cylinder so i have already opened the span gas cylinder here you can see the reading and this reading should be same like the figures written on the span gas cylinder so here you can see hydrogen sulfide 25 ppm carbon monoxide 100 ppm so same figures you can see here and once the calibration is done you will see like this message so next calibration is due on 180 days so here you can see calibration due on 180 days so what i'm going to do is i will take out the sample hose from the span gas cylinder okay now what we have to check is we have to check the present atmosphere condition so slowly the figures will be reduced and here you can see the h2s uh, becomes zero carbon monoxide becomes zero and lel becomes zero only this oxygen is showing 20.9 so successfully done the calibration for the dis this unit and in the same way i have done the calibration for the my other unit also so i have this uh, two gas alert max xt uh, multi gas detectors here i am going to switch on after the uh, calibration and first they will ask to block the inlet for check the pump and then they will do the self test by themselves and after that we can see the calibration due dates so guys thank you very much for watching my videos so next i will try to bring uh, two new videos one is for the calibration of the oxygen analyzer and other one is the uh, collision bulkhead valve so this collision bulkhead valve uh, video will be very interesting and i will try to upload it as soon as possible okay here you can see the calibration due on 180 days i am going to switch off this two unit okay guys see you in next video